video, we would like to show you and explain to you the Traco Aris Balloon Dilation Catheter. The Traco Aris Balloon Dilation Catheter, REF 820, is used for sedated patients in combination with the Traco High Pressure Inflation Device, REF 725, for the treatment of tracheal stenosis. To get a comprehensive overview of the airway and the stenotic area, the diagnostic laryngoscopy and bronchioscopy during the process is highly recommended. The application is conducted as follows. The protective casing of the balloon is removed. In this example, this has already happened. And the inflation device is unlocked and filled with about 16 milliliter of harmless liquid such as saline solution. The inflation device is now put aside. Depending on the size of the balloon catheter chosen, the color of the connector gives an indication of where the pressure should be adjusted to on the inflation device. A balloon with a yellow connector should be inflated to 10 bar, whereas one with a white connector should be inflated to 17 bar. Under direct laryngoscopic visualization, the catheter is passed through the glottis and centered within the stenotic area, here marked in red. Once this is confirmed by the bronchioscope, the stylet can be removed from the catheter and the inflation device is connected. Next, push as much liquid into the balloon as possible without forcing, forcing it too much and lock the inflation device. Through turning the piston, the pressure can now be adjusted to the desired amount. Once the oxygen saturation has fallen to 90% or two minutes of dilation has been reached, the balloon should be unblocked and removed and the reoxygenation process should be initialized. To remove the balloon catheter, simply unlock the inflation device and pull the piston handle up fully and then relock the device. The balloon catheter can now be removed. As a final checkup, the diagnostic laryngoscopy and bronchioscopy should be conducted once more. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.